William McKenna Jr. 17, first arrest, and guess what? What? It's your turn. I call the last angry dad. We have a lead we want to follow. As soon as we find out anything, we'll contact you. It's just that they went everywhere together. If Heather's dead... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Does the name Shannon Draper mean anything to you? Only that she's the madam to the stars. She paid off your sister's apartment at least two months ago. Are you implying that Michelle is a hooker? Let's not jump to any conclusions. But she's my sister. This is a police investigation, Miss Bracken. As soon as we locate your sister, we'll notify you. Thank you. Your dad's on his way. Is this Alan Jenkins? I'm calling on behalf of Officer Chris Kelly. She's needed on patrol this evening, and she regrets that she has to cancel dinner. Me, I'm her partner, Officer Del Toro. I'll tell her. Ah, bye. I got visitors with badges downstairs. Detectives? No, my cops. Sure. Come on in. Let's talk outside. Do you have any idea why we're here? I'm praying that girl you found last night was not Heather Robinson. I'm afraid she was. I have several questions for you. The first being, why haven't you contacted us? Look, officers, if I contacted you every time one of my boarders didn't sleep in her own bed, we'd have to install a hotline between us. Ma'am, we believe Heather's death wasn't accidental. Someone killed her? We're not sure. That's why it's important to retrace her last steps. Do you have any idea who she was with last night? No, not personally, but I... Sure, maybe one of the other girls might have known. I'd like to speak with her old roommate, Michelle Bracken. Certainly. Michelle? These officers want to ask you some questions about Heather. Sure. Do you have any idea what she was doing at the marina last night? She'd gone sailing with some guy a few days before. Do you know his name? I'm sorry, she didn't tell me. One last thing. Ellen's worried about you. She'd like you to call. Tell my sister, if I happen to die first, don't come to my funeral. If you think of anything. Help me. Just what the hell are you thinking? Thank you for calling me. Not a problem. See you both at the arraignment. Now, since this is your first offense, you should be all right. If you stay out of trouble. Oh, he will. Believe me, officer, he will. Got your message, Lieutenant. What up? Ride with me, boy. Sure. You feel like doing a little undercover work? Oh, man. How did Chris duck this one? She was with me when I met Shannon Draper. Okay, well, what about my backstory? Who's gonna vouch for me? I thought we'd take care of that right now. Lieutenant, are you sure I'm the right type for this? I think you're perfect. Uh, Margot Reese, Corey McEnroe. Hi. How you doing? So, you need a crash course in the good life? I guess. I busted Margot a few times. I got her to change careers. He encouraged me to start my own business. I owe him a big favor. And this is how you want to collect? Corey. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just one question. This count as my continuing education for my sergeant's exam? <laughs> Only if you pass the oral. Mark. Sorry. Officer Kelly, your lieutenant said you found Michelle? Your sister is fine, Miss Bracken. I take it she didn't light up at the sound of my name. She lit up all right, but not in the way you'd want to see. I've heard that Shannon sends some of her girls overseas. We've heard that also, but... Please, you 
can't let her leave the country. Some of those rich sheiks and foreign businessmen keep these girls as sex slaves. We're looking into Shannon's business. And if we get lucky, maybe we can get your sister out of there. Should I go down and see if Absolutely I... not. I know it's hard waiting. But I'm just asking you to trust us. Sorry I'm late, Alan. Where's Alan? He couldn't make it. How do you know? We spoke. You canceled my date? You can still have one. Of all the gall, how dare you? Would you just sit down? Why should I? So we can talk. We talk all day long. So we can talk now? What gives you the right to interfere with my life, DC? I took a chance. Maybe it wasn't the right thing to do. Maybe? Maybe. Red State. I can't believe you. I mean, this is so male. You know what you are? You are an egotistical, pushy, manipulative. Do you really think that I'd rather be with you than Alan? Why? doesn't make any sense. It makes perfect sense. This isn't about us working together. How do you know? <sighs> because if it were, you'd be telling me about how this is bad for our careers, or how if Palermo finds out, he'll transfer us, or how you don't want me worrying about you every time you go after a perp. All these things are true. Maybe. But you're more upset than that. Are you really so afraid to be happy? And why would I be happy about losing my best friend? That's not gonna happen. Why wouldn't it, TC? I mean, every time sex is involved, the friendship takes a nosedive. Sex is one thing. Love is another. One of us has to think clearly about this. Why? 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 This is more than about thinking anymore. It's about how I feel. About how you feel. And how will you feel a year from now, or two years from now, when something happens and we break up? And then what's going to happen to us then, huh? Nothing. No friendship, no lovers. It's all gone. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am not willing to take that risk. I'm doing this for the both of us. Then you'll forgive me if I don't thank you. <laughs> 